Mesdames et Messieurs, votre attention s'il vous plaît. L'Orient Express à destination de Strasbourg, Munich, Vienne, Budapest, Belgrade, Sofia et Constantinople va partir. Les passagers sont priés de monter à bord des voitures. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. The Orient Express is now leaving for Strasbourg, Munich, Vienna, Budapest, Belgrade, Sofia et Constantinople. All passengers should be on board. En voiture, fermez les portières, s'il vous plaît. Excusez-moi, monsieur. across something exceptional. More your line than mine. Depart Orient Express, 7 p.m. Friday, God or less. 
You're the only one I can trust. Your pal, Tyler. P.S. Hope you're not still angry about what happened in Cuba. I accept. Need to get out of town for a while anyway. Book double compartment in your own name. Don't mention mine. Maybe a little late. I'll meet you on the train. Kath. P.S. Still angry about Cuba. Bonsoir, monsieur. François, viens ici. Arrête tout de suite. Pardon me. Petit bonhomme, il faudrait te calmer. Tu sais. French is so funny. Madame Caillot seems to have become a sort of national heroine. Somehow she's been transformed from an insignificant woman enslaved and overshadowed by her husband into a passionate avenger. Hmm, si les petites bourgeoises se mettent à écrire l'histoire, on n'est pas sorti d'affaire. Voilà bien une réflexion de petite restreinte. Arrête. Tu dis toi-même qu'elle est une Madame Bovary. What counts is she's acted. She's the very opposite of Madame Bovary. I'd say more Joan of Arc, really. Ooh, the English burnt at the stake. Must you always bring that up? Well, it happened. What really interests me about Madame Caillot is the way the French scandals develop so differently from English ones. Like the Dreyfus affair. In England, the Jewish army... Bonsoir, monsieur. We have a nice table for you here in the corner. If you will please uh, follow me. Please, monsieur. Have a seat. Ah, Herr Whitney, you are different than I had imagined. Sorry to keep you waiting, I ran across an old friend. One does have the most unexpected encounters on trains. Shall we get down to business? Have you brought the gold? First you kept me waiting, now you don't answer me. I have kept my half of the bargain. If something has gone wrong, I would like to know it. Nothing has gone wrong. I'm glad. I trust that you will not mind if I asked to see the gold. I trust you won't mind either if I ask to see what I'm buying. To see it? But you know that is impossible. The merchandise will be put on the train at Munich. It is what we agreed. Good. Then we're even. 
Herr Schmidt, it's been a pleasure. We'll talk again after Munich. Bonsoir, Monsieur. Does Monsieur wish to order dinner? Yes, I will have the roast duck and uh, a bottle of 96 Bordeaux. Very good, Monsieur. Bien, on rentre. Mais non, ça se passe pas comme ça sur les grandes lignes. Good evening, Une Your Excellency. On attend le deuxième service. I trust si everything has been to your satisfaction. Yes. Mind if I join you? Your Excellency. Why not? Your, your presence here with your lovely granddaughter is too great of an honor. I am not worthy to serve you. I thank you for your indulgence. I will bother you no further. Mademoiselle. I didn't mean to scare you off. For me, a bowl of soup is enough. I can't take no pleasure in food, while millions of my countrymen go without bread. Good evening. Excuse me. Uh, pardon me. Uh, pardon me. Oui, qui est, entrez. Sorry, my mistake. Pardon me. Qui est? Sorry. Excuse me. Got a light? Thanks. Haven't we met somewhere before? It's possible. I don't think I would have remembered. Excuse me. Who is it? Sorry, wrong door.
Pardon me. Ah, monsieur, excuse me. These compartments belong to the gentleman in number four. Emshi minhana. Samaatini. Emshi minhana. Excuse me, monsieur, but this is the last sleeping car. If you are looking for the dining car, it is two cars forward. I thought I'd just take a walk to the end of the train. There is another car after this one, isn't there? Yes, but it is a private car. Je suis désolé, monsieur. Pardon me? Pardon me? Right away, monsieur. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Pardon me? Excusez-moi, monsieur. Bonsoir, monsieur. Excuse me. Could you tell me what this paper says? It's a Russian fairy tale. For children. Could you translate it for me? Do you know what a fairy tale is? It's one of the ways the exploiters make the people forget that they're enslaved. For a hundred years, Russian peasants have told their children this story of a hero who plucks the tail feather from a firebird. Child goes to bed with an empty stomach and dreams of a hero who will never come. Sorry I asked. Соблюдала все заветы нашей церкви. Да, дядя. Excuse me, Fräulein Wolf. I could not leave the room without paying you my compliments. I'm sure you do not remember me. My name is August Schmidt. But I do remember you. It was at Mrs. Lauder's in London, wasn't it? Yes. You played Brahms' violin concerto. How lovely of you to remember. Тебе нравится and это you блюдо? Да. По-моему, это замечательно. Was she your wife? Was she um, uh, yeah, yes, um, um, that is... Uh, forgive me for interrupting your dinner. May I say that I am delighted that we are sharing this journey. You are very kind. Good evening. Excusez-moi. Mind if I join you? That's bold. Is it customary in America to be so forward? In certain circles, it's not unheard of. I must have been moving in the wrong circles. I hope you find somewhere to sit. Deuxième service, deuxième service, 
Le dîner est servi dans le wagon restaurant. Dinner is served in the restaurant car. Deuxième service. Deux... Excusez-moi. In the restaurant car. Deuxième service. Deuxième service, le dîner est servi dans le wagon-restaurant. Excusez-moi, monsieur, c'est le conducteur. Sorry, I must have pushed the button by accident. Very good, monsieur. Ah, monsieur Whitney, excusez-moi. His Excellency wishes to receive you in his private car. Mm, his Excellency? Yes, Monsieur. He's waiting for you. Bonsoir, Monsieur. Hello. It seems I've been sent for by someone named His Excellency. That wouldn't be you, would it? What an unexpected pleasure, Mr. Robert Cat. Usually people call me Tyler Whitney. You should take care when choosing a name for yourself. Names have power. The most primitive cultures understood this, but of course, it will be as you prefer. Not everyone has the luxury of choosing his own name, Mr... Kronos. Whether you are Kath 
or Whitney is a matter of indifference to me. I am prepared to continue the discussions begun by my agent in Paris, provided that you have the piece of which you spoke. Is Kronos your first name or your last name? I have no time to continue these delightful discussions of names. I have brought with me a rather heavy briefcase. I would like to know now if the proposed exchange interests you and if you are capable of completing it. Not just at the moment, but I have hopes of being able to do so. In that case, we have nothing further to discuss. I myself must leave the train in Vienna. In case we do not see each other again, I wish you a pleasant journey to Istanbul and continued success in evading the British and French authorities. Have a pleasant evening, Mr. Ka. Kahina will show you out. I was just going to make the beds for the night, monsieur. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I, I'm very sorry, monsieur. I do not understand. Forgive me, monsieur. Yes, monsieur. Pardon me? Yes, monsieur. I am sorry, monsieur. Have a pleasant night, monsieur. Mais Monsieur Martins ne vous l'a pas donné Mon neveu Il m'a dit qu'il vous l'avait donné il y a une heure de ça. C'est étrange. Oh, peut-être c'est une erreur. Alors il vous l'a donc donné oh, Ce que je voulais dire, c'est que je n'avais pas compris qu'il était responsable des deux listes. Cela explique tout. Merci, Coudet. De rien, monsieur. Bonsoir, monsieur. Bonsoir, monsieur. As-tu oublié quelque chose euh, C'est que vous voulez dire la liste des passagers Il semble que je l'ai garée quelque part. Tu ne la trouves plus Que veux-tu dire Je l'avais laissée ici, à l'intérieur de mon journal. Elle était rangée. J'allais vous la ramener. Uh, pardon me. Tyler, yes, Milos. What were you? What do you think I could write in my report? My nephew is an impenetrable paresseux and has obtained his employment thanks to me. I have the report and he loses the list of the passengers of two wagons couchés. It's not possible. You have to find this list before we arrive in Budapest. Yes, my name is Milos. Who are you? This is my compartment. Who are you? This is Tyler Whitney's compartment. Where is Tyler? Who beats up? As I was about to say, I didn't kill him. Who are you? My name is Robert Kath. So you are Kath? Tyler spoke of you. 
He was afraid you were angry with him. He shouldn't have worried. That was a long time ago. You better tell me what's going on. Tyler had a meeting with someone named August Schmidt. What was that about? Where's the gold? What gold? I saw a wooden box in a hell of a mess. Then we are lost. How can I tell this to the general? Oh, I must tell to the others. What general? What were you and Tyler mixed up in? You must tell no one about this. No one. Not even the train conductor? You've been warned. Sinaruka, the Black Hand. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Pardon me. Excusez-moi. Kahina. Monsieur Boudouin. Je peux aller au bout du train. Mais non, ce soir, il est temps d'aller se coucher. Tu iras au bout du train demain. Bonsoir, madame. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Très bien, madame. Pardon, monsieur. Uh, pardon me. These aren't nuances, Sophie. All of Russia may go into revolt. <sighs> After a month on the island, you won't think about such things. Listen, why don't you write a play when we get there? Ça pourrait être un chef dœuvre Une de tes amusantes petites pièces. Comme celle que tu as écrite sur Reginald. Je serai Ariane et tu seras Theseus. Joséphine sera le Minotaure. Pourtant, tu es tellement têtu que ça devrait être ton rôle. Joséphine Oui, je ne t'ai pas dit. Elle m'a écrit à la dernière minute car elle voulait absolument nous rejoindre. Elle déteste être à l'écart de ce qui se passe. Oh, ne fais pas cette tête-là. Bien sûr, nous serons ensemble. Après tout, on n'est pas des jeunes mariés. On va passer tout notre temps à admirer des couchers de soleil. Et permet 5 minutes d'arrêt. Bonsoir, monsieur. Le train entre en gare d'Epernay. En gare d'Epernay. Epernay, 5 minutes d'arrêt. Le train entre en gare d'Epernay. Epernay, 5 minutes d'arrêt. Bonsoir, monsieur. Le train entre en gare d'Epernay. Epernay, 5 minutes d'arrêt. Bonsoir, monsieur. Bonsoir, 
Bonsoir, monsieur. Bonsoir, monsieur. Plus fine, étrange, j'ai dit. T'es bouché au dur de la feuille. Pardon, désolé, il n'y a que des carottes. Une espèce d'incapable. Oh Même les choses les plus simples sont trop dures à comprendre pour ta petite tête. Oh, excuse-moi, monsieur. <rire> C'était pas assez souhait, monsieur. Good evening, monsieur. <rire> Que des carottes Monsieur, Alors, tu can penses I help you que le chef, hein Aïe Messieurs et mesdames les voyageurs, veuillez retourner à vos places, s'il vous plaît. Il s'agit d'un contrôle de routine. Ladies and gentlemen, please return to your compartments. This is a routine check. Messieurs et mesdames les voyageurs, veuillez retourner à vos places, s'il vous plaît. Il s'agit d'un contrôle de routine. s'il vous plaît. C'est la police, madame. Merci, madame. Bonne soirée. Excusez-nous de vous avoir dérangé. Good evening. Bonsoir, police. Ouvrez, s'il vous plaît. Bonsoir, police. Ouvrez, s'il vous plaît. Yes. C'est la police, madame. Merci, madame. Bonne soirée. Excusez-nous de vous avoir dérangé. Je vous en prie. Bonsoir, police. Ouvrez, s'il vous plaît. Yes. C'est la police, monsieur. Un instant, monsieur. Entrez. Merci, monsieur. Excusez-moi de vous avoir dérangé. Merci, une bonne nuit. Je vous en prie. Bonsoir, police. Ouvrez, s'il vous plaît. Just a minute. Come in. Merci, madame. Bonne soirée, excusez-nous de vous avoir dérangé. Bonsoir, police, ouvrez s'il vous plaît. Messieurs, nous avons pris du retard. Nous devons repartir dès maintenant. Nous n'avons pas pensé que la nous Nous sommes désolés, messieurs. De toute façon, l'Orient Express se doit d'être à l'heure. Vous pouvez descendre maintenant ou vous pouvez rester jusqu'à la comme vous voulez. Messieurs et mesdames les voyageurs, le wagon-restaurant est réouvert. Nous posons question pour votre passage. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Nous 
Bonsoir, madame. Après ce dérangement, je demande une explication. Bien sûr, madame. J'ai souvent voyagé dans des grands trains, mon mari est ingénieur, et je vous assure que j'écrirai personnellement au chef de ma compagnie afin qu'il se... Bien sûr, madame. Vous avez tout à fait raison, madame. Je vous assure, cette incursion n'était pas prévue. Malheureusement, c'était la police locale. On a bien essayé de leur faire comprendre. Mais vous savez, on est en France. Hum. De quoi s'agit-il, alors Comme vous avez été tellement patiente, madame, je crois qu'il n'y aurait aucun mal à vous répéter en toute confiance ce qu'ils m'ont expliqué. Excusez-moi. Excusez-moi. Excusez Excusez la police pensait qu'il avait été jeté de notre train. Je l'ai vu. Je l'ai vu. C'est toi. Et alors, on n'a rien trouvé Rien, madame. Il s'agissait d'une erreur. Il n'y a aucune raison de s'inquiéter. Mais c'est vrai. Ils l'ont jeté par la fenêtre. Je l'ai vu. Ce soir, on ne raconte pas d'histoire. Si vous me permettez, madame, je vais vous laisser. Merci. Je m'excuse. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Bonsoir, monsieur. Excusez-moi, monsieur, c'est le conducteur. Yes, monsieur? Sorry, I must have pushed the button by accident. Very good, monsieur. Comment ça s'est passé? Aucun problème. Après que je les ai persuadés de quitter les compartiments du harem. Imaginez-vous la scène que cela aurait Bonsoir, monsieur. Yes? Who is it? Sorry, my mistake. Bonne nuit, monsieur. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Why don't you make it sing?
night. I thought you might be having trouble sleeping. I had a bad nightmare. It woke me up. Can I come in? Why not? Runter, Maxel. Make yourself comfortable. I'm sorry the place is a mess. Do you always carry a gun on your concert tours? A woman traveling alone has to be careful. I would have thought Max was enough protection. You are not Tyler Whitney. Who are you? My name is Robert Kath. What do you want? Tyler Whitney was a friend of mine. What's that supposed to mean? Maxel, bleib here. Sit. Let me through, I'm a doctor. Boil some water. Vasily! What are you doing? What kind of a doctor are you? I know. You came Tanya! Подай мне нос. Я вырежу его сердце и скормлю волка. Дедушка! Oh, don't listen to him. He doesn't know what he's saying. Василий Александрович! Дедушка! Set it down over there. Mais pour l'amour du ciel, que signifie ces cris? Brew this in a tea and give him a cup every four hours. Can you do that? Yes. What on earth is the matter? Let's clear out. Let him sleep. Vous avez entendu le docteur? Tout le monde dort. Il faut le laisser se reposer. Miss Tatiana, could I speak with you? I don't want to frighten you, but I think someone went into my compartment while I was at dinner. <gasps> no. Would you think I was very silly if I asked you to keep it for me just until we reach Vienna? Of course not. I would be glad to. You mustn't tell anybody. It will be our secret. Good night, Miss Wolf. Good night, Mr. Whitney. Have a good night. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour, monsieur. Uh, pardon me. <laughs> Milos, we need to talk. Pazzi, what's the name of August Schmidt thinks I'm Tyler. I went along with it to keep the game going. Now I want to know what the game is. And we need to talk about it. On je breženo, Tyrov prijatelj. Tebi je svako prijatelj. Kamaj, sit down. Have you heard of unity or death? Sure, that's Harvard's motto. Where is it the post office? Unity or death is a sacred vow. Crna ruka, we have all taken it. Tyler too. He always liked that sort of thing. He gave his life for this. Tyler came to us in the winter. We were hiding in the mountains of Bjelašnica, north of Sarajevo. Šta se njega tiče, gde je Bjelašnica? Hoćeš ti mene žaska glava da pustiš da govorim? When Tyler came, he had no food, no guns, nothing. Tyler brought us guns. What did Tyler want from August Schmidt? Tyler was given a mission by the general himself. It was a great treasure that belonged to the Serbian people. What was it? It was called the Firebird. I never saw it. 
Tyler was to sell it for gold to buy the guns from the German. If the German finds out that we have lost the gold, everything is lost. You must tell him that we have the gold and that we want to buy the guns. Why should I help you cheat August Schmidt? Cheat him? How can you speak of cheating a German? The Germans are taking our land, the food from our children. We are like slaves in our own land. Tyler understood this. If you betray us, you betray the cause he died for. It's your cause, not mine. Te ga ubijem odmah. Zabranjujem ti, on je bio Tyler-ov prijatelj. Ti ćeš ga pustiti da izađe odavde? Ti si veća budala nego što sam mislila. Oh, by the way, Herr Schmidt mentioned that he was having some merchandise put on the train at Munich. So long. Madame? Pardon. Uh, pardon me. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Est-ce que vous avez trouvé un passe-partout Non. Vous avez perdu votre clé Hier soir, pendant la crise du compte Obolanski, elle est peut-être tombée de ma poche pendant la confusion. Cette clé ouvre toutes les portes du train. Je ne voudrais pas paraître suspicieux, mais est-il possible que l'un des passagers vous l'ait volé C'est difficile à croire. Enfin, qui Peut-être l'Américain. Il a l'air d'un fauteur de trou. Je l'ai souvent vu traîner dans le couloir. Le docteur Il était là, hier soir, dans le compartiment du compte Obolanski. Il y avait tant de monde, il aurait pu profiter de la confusion pour vous la voler. Il n'y avait pas tant de monde. Juste Madame Wolf et Mademoiselle Tatiana. De toute façon, la clé a disparu. Soyez attentifs. Très bien, monsieur. Excuse me. Good morning. How is your grandfather? He's sleeping. Good. Don't forget the tea. I won't. I... I want to thank you for what you did. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't been there. Has he been ill for long? I don't know. I've been living in France. Grandfather came to bring me home to Russia. I knew he wasn't well, but... If there is anything we can do to repay you, please tell me. Do you think you could read this? The firebird! Oh, it's beautiful! Look at his burning tail! Where did it come from? It belonged to a friend of mine. What does it say? It's a poem for children. It's a story about Prince Ivan and the firebird. If you like, I could write out a translation and give it to you this afternoon. Thank you, Tatiana. Excuse me. К вашему сведению, после нанесенного вами оскорбления с дедушкой случился приступ. По-моему, вы горды тем, что причинили мучение старику. If Vasily Alexandrovich suffers, it's because of his own guilty conscience. I only spoke the truth. How dare you! Вот мазель Татьяна, вы олицетворяете надменность, присущую вашему классу. Вы сами выходите из того же класса. Я? Вряд ли. Во всяком случае, это несущественно. Я посвятил свою жизнь строительству бесклассового общества. Значит, дедушка был прав? Вы в самом деле либерал? А я думал, что за четыре года пребывания в Париже вы хоть чему-нибудь научились. Видать, буржуазная система образования готовит девушек лишь для замужества, и вы наверняка были надежно защищены от всего даже отдаленных минающих идей. Алексей, зачем вы так говорите? В детстве мы каждый день играли у реки. Неужели вы забыли? Я помню. That time no longer exists. Good day.
Excusez-moi, monsieur. Excuse me. Uh, pardon me. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Would you open my compartment, please? But of course, mademoiselle. Excuse me, Monsieur Whitney. Bonjour, Monsieur. Here's Schmidt. What were you writing all morning? Just my diary. I thought it must be a novel. You were writing such a long time. When can I read it? You want to read my diary? Of course. Unless it's a secret. I will. It is, rather. No one's ever asked me before. I, I don't know what to say. I'm just teasing you. It was just to see the look on your face. Really? Sophie. You were really funny. You would have thought I was asking to borrow money. Monsieur, that is Count Polanski's compartment. Yours is in the next sleeping car. Yes, who is it? 
Sorry, my mistake. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour, monsieur. Are you still here? Tell His Excellency I'd like to... Tell him I want to talk to him about the Firebird. The American, Your Excellency. I believe this time you want to speak to him. Yes. in. Make yourself comfortable. Why, thank you, Kahina. I think I will. Good morning, Mr. Khan. I hope you have good news for me today. That depends. Do you still want the Firebird? Do you have it? What happened to Tyler? The misadventures of Mr. Whitney and his colleagues are of no interest to me. Let us conclude this transaction quickly. We both have many other things to do. I with my collection, and you with your travels and special interests. Your treatment of Vasily Alexandrovich, for example. Datura Stramonium. Very interesting. It's very simple. Simple to us, perhaps. But few European doctors would have thought of it. Once in Nigeria. But I digress. Do you have the Firebird? Not technically. Then I shall waste no more of your time. I shall look forward to our next meeting, Mr. Khan. He knows nothing. It is as I thought. The Austrian woman has the Firebird. Forgive me, Your Excellency. I told you so last night. Why have you not searched her compartment? The compartment is guarded, Your Excellency, day and night. Ah, yes. The dog. I am not afraid, Your Excellency. But if I enter the compartment, that dog will attack me. If Your Excellency wishes, of course. I understand, Kaina. Several hours remain before Vienna. I will arrange a convenient absence for Miss Wolf. And this animal whose presence seems to make you so uneasy. Then, Kahina, you will find the Firebird. Yes, Your Excellency. Bonjour, Monsieur. Bonjour, monsieur. Le train entre en gare de Munich. Munich. 20 minutes d'arrêt. Munich. Herr Whitney, soon we will arrive in München. Are you ready to proceed with our agreement? The answer is yes, Herr Schmidt. Our deal is on. Your attention, please, ladies and gentlemen. The Orient Express is now leaving for Vienna, Budapest, Belgrad, Sofia, Bitte and sehr vorsichtig sein mit diesem großen Koffer. Ja, ja. Wir darf um Gottes Willen nicht hinfallen. Meine Damen und Herren, der Orient Express fährt jetzt in Richtung Wien, Step Budapest, Belgrad und Belgrad. Konstantinopel ab. Bitte alle einsteigen. 
Я вижу, вы все такая же бесстрашная. Девушка. Девушка, играете в шахматы как мужчина. Ваш ход. Замечательно. Трюк, достойный вашего дела. Herr Whitney, soon we will arrive in München. Are you... Я вижу, вы все такая же бесстрашная. Девушка, играете в шахматы как мужчина. Ваш ход. Замечательно. Трюк, достойный вашего деда. Ну почему вы все время вспоминаете девушку? Ведь вы же со мной играете. Не... Я вас хорошо играть научил. I had other teachers since then, Alexei Sergeyevich. I'm not a little girl anymore. No, you're not. Naturally, it was a mistake. It has nothing to do with us. No, of course not. Ridiculous, really. The idea of a murder on the Orient Express. I don't suppose they happened to mention if they'd identified the body. I believe he was a foreigner, monsieur. Was he? A foreigner? How interesting. Excuse me, I couldn't help wondering, is that Miss Anna Wolf that was playing the violin just now? Yes, monsieur. It is our honor to have Miss Wolf traveling with us. How delightful. And the private car in the back, that wouldn't be um, His Excellency Prince Kronos now, would it? Yes, monsieur. How interesting. They say he hardly travels at all in Europe anymore. Just goes to show you. Huh. I understand Count Obolensky was quite ill during the night. He's much better today, Monsieur. Fortunately, we had a doctor on board. A doctor? Not a Russian doctor? No, sir. In America. Monsieur Whitney. How interesting. Is he actually treating the Count, then? He has given him a sedative, Monsieur. Sedative? I believe it's sort of uh, herbal tea. Oh well, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Still, it does seem a little irregular. Yeah, not that we English see anything wrong with a cup of tea. It can do wonders for an upset stomach. Still, one rather expects to see the usual paraphernalia. A doctor's bag instills confidence and so on. Uh, given the importance of the patient, I mean. I suppose Mr. Whitney is traveling with quite a bit of luggage. Monsieur? Oh, you know, so many Americans do. I cannot say, monsieur. Must be the fellow I passed just now in the smoking car. Rather young, isn't he, for a doctor? I believe he is young, yes. I must say, he didn't look at all like the usual sort of American one expects to see on these trains. You know, flashing money about. Quite the opposite, in fact. Rather unusual for a young fellow like that to book a double compartment, prices being what they are and all that. Wouldn't you say? I do not know, monsieur. Well, I suppose he wants his privacy. Nothing wrong with that. Monsieur, I really must return. No, of course, of course. Uh, don't let me keep you. Thank you, monsieur. Au revoir. Premier service. Premier service. Le déjeuner est servi. Lunch is served. Excuse me. Premier service. Premier service. Le déjeuner Bonjour, est servi. Lunch is served. Oh, excuse me. We seem to be sharing a compartment. No, no, please don't get up. I'll just sit here and read the paper. Don't mind me at all. It appears the train's quite full. Awful nuisance when you think you've got a compartment to yourself and then they stick a complete stranger in with you at the last minute. <laughs> Happened to me any number of times. George Abbott. Claude Boutarel. French, then, are you? Are you going all the way to Constantinople? Bonjour, monsieur. I am traveling to a small town on the Gulf coast of Persia. With my wife and son. Oh, lovely. 
Then that must be your family I saw next door. It is most probable. Excuse me, monsieur. By the way, I was wondering, you haven't seen a red cravat anywhere, have you? I was just unpacking and it seems to have disappeared. I believe my son has taken it. Really? What was the name of the town you mentioned? Masjid e Suleiman. Of course, the new oil refinery they're building at Abadan. I say, you're not working for Anglo-Persian, are you? Why not? Oh, well, I suppose you being a Frenchman, I just assume... I am an engineer, monsieur. The Anglo-Persian company is doing the most innovative research in oil exploration. Yes. Well, wouldn't want the Royal Navy to be caught short of fuel oil, would we? Tell me, are the reserves in that little town, what's it called again, really as big as they say? I cannot offer an opinion, monsieur. No, of course you wouldn't. Quite brave of your wife to go all that way and live in the desert. She would not wish to be without me. And it will be a good opportunity for Francois. He has a fine scientific mind. He seems like a very active little boy. I don't suppose you could ask him for my cravat. Ah, uh, I, I think now that I, I remember him using it as a kind of sieve to test salinity in the water. Most remarkable in a boy of seven. Don't you agree? Quite remarkable. It is the natural curiosity of the scientific mind, monsieur. Yes, and all that trapped in the body of a little boy. Bonjour, monsieur. Excusez-moi, monsieur. pas non plus. C'est un paradis pour ceux qui savent l'apprécier. Demande donc aux dames des derniers compartiments. Attention, tu ne veux pas risquer la récompense que tu espères recevoir à la fin du voyage, non Récompense La seule récompense qu'il risque de me donner, c'est de faire de moi son collègue avec son sabre. Allez, à bientôt <rire> Allez, à plus tard Bonjour, monsieur. Excuse me, sir. But also, you know, I can carry my violin anywhere I go. Because the piano is a little bit more difficult. I'm afraid you would find it very boring, but without going into detail, I will say that my work here is not only commerce, and that in my own small way, I'm doing my part for the Good father. afternoon. Ah, uh, monsieur, welcome. Uh, please follow me. We have a nice table for you right here in the corner. Thank you. Enjoy your lunch, monsieur. Il 
Yes, monsieur. The escallop. That's a sort of veal cutlet, isn't it? The escallop de veau. Yes, monsieur. Well, I'll have that. Well done, please. Very good, monsieur. Mind if I join you? No, by all means. I don't believe we've been introduced. George Abbott. Tyler Whitney. What foul weather. Can't seem to get out of this storm. It must be raining all across Europe. Quite remarkable, really. I understand you've made friends with the Obolenskis. You must introduce me. I'm fascinated by Russia. That was quite a scare you had last night. The chef de train told me you handled it quite well. You didn't happen to notice whether the other Russian fellow, what's his name, the young fellow, was hanging about? I don't recall seeing him. I'm afraid the old man has quite lost his head. Still, he has played a role for years as a sort of informal ambassador for the Tsar, if you know what I mean. I didn't know you were a doctor. And you? Oh, I'm travelling on business. Every now and then the company has a little matter to take care of on the continent, so off I go. Isn't she enchanting? That violinist, Miss Wolfe? She seems to be getting on rather well with Herr Schmidt. Not her type, I would have thought. Rather a surprise to see Herr Schmidt here. One would think he'd have his hands full back in Germany, what with his factories stepping up production and all that. Such an industrious people, the Germans. I wonder what business he has in the East. But you haven't told me a thing about yourself. Will you be going far? All the way to Constantinople. Oh, how lovely. Business or pleasure? Actually, I'm travelling for my health. Yes, yeah, so nice to get away from one's troubles, assuming one has any. New climates, new horizons and all that. Of course, I don't need to tell you that, you being a doctor. Quite a coincidence you're being a doctor, and, and an American, I mean. When I boarded at Munich, the police were looking for an American doctor who'd got away from the police in Paris. Apparently, he's mixed up with those Irish fanatics, home rule and all that, the ones that killed that policeman. Papers were full of it. Anyhow, it seems that this young doctor is in quite a bit of trouble. Don't believe everything you read in the papers. No, but I do. It's so much more fun that way. <laughs> Still, it's none of my concern. I say, that jacket looks a bit short in the arms. Was it a French tailor who took it in for you? I think I'll go check on the Oblinsky. Yes, of course. Look forward to seeing you again. What a pleasant fellow. Мы все говорили, договорили. Разговорами сыт не будешь. Words are lost in the air like the sound of church bells. A single deed is better propaganda than a thousand pamphlets. Замечательные слова. Ваш ход. Rabbit. Bonjour, Monsieur. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour, monsieur. Pardon me. Bonjour, monsieur.
разговоры о политических партиях. Это все делается правящим классом для показухи. Всякое правительство рабство. Все они стоят одно другого. Ваш ход. Ну вот вы все развалили, а подумали вы о том, что будет возведено взамен? Ничего не понадобится возводить взамен тирании. Как только частная собственность будет упразднена, все люди станут равными и свободными. Новое мирное общество образуется само по себе. Вы так и не сделали. Фролайн Вулф, это привилегия встретиться с таким талантливым артистом. Мой имя – Кронос. Your Excellency, you do me a great honor. My car is equipped with a piano. I wonder if you would do me the favor of joining me in a duet. It will help pass the time on this rather long journey. What a splendid idea! Shall we say three o'clock? I shall count the minutes until then. Good day. It is very tiresome, your business in Vienna. Oh, well, you know, you always hope that a man will keep his word when he does not. One hates to lose a good bit of business, but uh, man can not anders. Also, then kommt ihr Geschäft nicht zustande? Ist es abgesagt? Excusez-moi, monsieur. Uh, pardon, pardon me. I too studied music. Excusez-moi. Eh, hey, petit, viens me voir. Tu me le donnes? Non. Je l'ai trouvé. Il est à moi. On échange. D'accord. Si tu veux. Il dort maintenant. Il ne marche plus. Bonjour, monsieur. Ah, Herr Whitney, the merchandise has been loaded onto the train. I have fulfilled my part of the bargain. I want to see the gold. Our agreement included delivery of the arms in Belgrade. We're not in Belgrade yet. 
Herr Whitney, since I boarded this train, I have begun to feel that things are not as they should be. If you cannot reassure me, I intend to get off in Vienna and take my merchandise with me. Guten Tag! Herr Schmidt, can we talk? Unless you can show me the gold, there is nothing to talk about. Good day. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Excusez-moi. Pardon me. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Would you open my compartment, please? But of course, mademoiselle. Excusez-moi, madame. Oui, madame. Cette fois-ci, ça suffit. Il faut faire quelque chose avec ce chien. Je suis désolé, madame. Madame a été dérangée Les odeurs, les aboiements, c'en est trop. Un chien de petite taille, peut-être. Un caniche serait supportable. Mais un monstre pareil. Et avec un petit garçon dans le compartiment voisin. Je suis terriblement désolé, madame. Excusez-moi, monsieur. J'assisterai auprès de madame Wolf pour qu'elle surveille son chien. Mais non, voyons. Vous savez bien que c'est impossible. Ce chien devrait monsieur. être en cage, dans la soute à bagages, tout simplement. Je dois dire que je suis très surprise qu'une compagnie aussi respectable satisfasse avec tant d'indulgence les caprices de créatures excentriques, d'artistes, au point d'ignorer ses clients les plus respectables. Je pensais avoir acheté un billet pour un train de grand luxe, pas un ticket pour le cirque. Je comprends, madame. Votre opinion est entièrement justifiée. Je vais en parler au chef de train immédiatement. Je souhaite que vous fassiez plus que lui parler. Je souhaite vivement que cet animal soit expulsé des voitures lits. M'avez-vous comprise Oh oui, madame. Madame Bouterel? Excusez-moi, monsieur. Qu'est-ce que je peux faire pour vous Je suis désolé, mais l'une des passagères s'est plainte du compagnon de voyage de Madame Wolf. Pour être plus précis, Madame Boutarel. C'est très gênant. Vous n'avez pas réussi à la madouer. C'est délicat. Vous comprenez, Madame Boutarel et son mari ne sont pas invités au concert de Madame Wolf. Rien n'est pire qu'une femme vexée. Et je crois bien qu'elle ne soit pas prête à abandonner. Dommage. Les règles sont les règles. Annoncer la triste nouvelle à Madame Wolf et emmener son chien dans le compartiment à bagages. Moi, monsieur Oui, vous. Pourquoi Vous avez peur des chiens Non, 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 monsieur. J'adore les animaux. Alors c'est très bien. Faites pour le mieux. Et surtout, présentez nos excuses à Madame Wolf. Souvenez-vous qu'elle est l'une de nos meilleures clientes. Elle a voyagé dans ce train plus souvent que vous. Je le sais, monsieur. Excusez-moi, monsieur.
Excusez-moi, monsieur. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Uh, pardon me. C'est le conducteur, madame. Excusez-moi, madame. Je suis vraiment désolé. But we have received a complaint about the barking. Oh, no. Of course, for you, we have always made an exception. But now that a passenger has complained... Must he go to the baggage car? The passenger has insisted, madame. What can I do? Just a moment. Oh, mein Kleiner, sei nicht traurig. Es wird dir schon gut gehen im Gepäckwagen. Komm her, mein Schatz. Oh. Forgive me, madame. You make sure he has plenty of water. He really doesn't like the baggage car. Of course, madame. You are kind. I'm very, very sorry. Excusez-moi. 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 Good dog. Good doggy. Excuse me, Monsieur Whitney. Monsieur, what are you doing here? Tu es le pire des apprentis que j'ai jamais vu. C'est incroyable qu'on te laisse travailler à bord de l'Orient Express. Oh, oh, je je m'excuse, je m'excuse. Je trouverais un meilleur ouvrier que toi dans n'importe quelle brasserie à Paris. Ah oui, mais, mais par exemple, là, le, le couteau, il, il, est, il, est pas, il, est pas, il est pas aiguisé. Eh ben justement, qu'est-ce que t'attends pour l'aiguiser Tous Ben bien sûr, tous Oh, excuse-moi, monsieur. <rire> C'était pas assez souhait, monsieur. Good evening, monsieur. <rire> que des carottes alors tu penses être meilleur que le chef, hein Aïe Les apprentis de nos jours. Si j'avais été aussi maladroit et incompétent que toi, on m'aurait jeté du train en marche Bonjour, monsieur. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Ah, monsieur Whitney. Prince Kronos wishes to invite you to a concert in his private car. Madame Wolf will play the violin. And he wants me to be there. Oh, yes, monsieur. Three o'clock. His Excellency was most eager that you should attend. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour, monsieur. d'arrêt. 
Le train entre en gare de Vels. Vels, 15 minutes d'arrêt. A name, de Breteuil. He thinks to invite the noblesse to make himself important. That's why he does not invite some petit bourgeois like the Boutarel. But he invites the Comte Oblansky who he does not know. Then you don't think we should accept? Why not? It would be less boring than listening to Madame Boutarel. Did I tell you what she said to me this morning? Apparently the reason she and her husband aren't sharing a compartment is that they're little boys. Excuse me. Tu reviens? Yes, I will be a minute. Bon, d'accord. Je t'attends. Excuse me, got a light? Je ne parle pas l'anglais, monsieur. Bonjour. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Excusez-moi. Jacques, sperr uns doch bitte die Tür zu, während ich weg bin. Excusez-moi. Bonjour, monsieur. Is it? Excusez-moi. Je m'excuse.
Excuse me. Pardonnez-moi, madame. Pardonnez-moi. Would you lock my compartment, please? Of course, mademoiselle. Thank you. Tatiana? Excuse me. He has been quiet, mademoiselle. I looked in about an hour ago. He was sleeping. Ah, так это вы мне приснились. Не берите. Может быть, она у вас запоет. Just a minute. How did you get in there? Shh. Monsieur Oblinsky is asleep. He mustn't be disturbed. Yes, monsieur. Feelings can change that fast. Well, mine do. You can't treat people as if they were your toys. There are consequences, you know. I've given up a lot to come on this trip. I don't care about the things you give up. For me, that's nothing. What you give to me, what you make me feel, that's what I care about. You won't give me a chance. Ah, toi, tu parles toujours de sacrifices, de conséquences, d'obligations. Je m'en fiche, moi. Si j'avais voulu tout ça, j'aurais épousé Philippe. Au moins, ça aurait eu des avantages. Excuse me, Monsieur Whitney. Bonjour, Monsieur. In such a moment, there is no time to waste. I'm sorry, my wife. Yes. Oh, he's not feeling very well. He's surrounded by four hours, Mary. Oh, it looks like they are starting. No, it's better if I stand. Sit down. Sure. This is really delightful. Miss Tatiana, are you comfortable there? Thank you. Oh, Count Oblensky is still not feeling well. A pity. They are starting.
Pardon me. Si on vaut mieux d'y aller, on fait la grève générale. S'il mobilise, oui. Et comme ça, il n'y aura pas de guerre. Évidemment. Sans les ouvriers, il n'y aurait pas de guerre. Il n'y aurait pas de chemin de fer, il n'y aurait voilà pas de... Voilà le guerre. problème. Si nous, les Français, on fait la grève et les Allemands la font pas, que se passera-t-il Attends un moment. Euh, n'est rien, c'est là le problème. Dear friend, last night my seductress allowed me to sit by the side of her bed for a long while and brush her hair. How happy I was. Her embrace pulls me into a dream, far away from my old upholstered world. At last, on vrai vie intime, in this fragile, rattling old box racing into the future. Dear friend, last night my seductress allowed me to sit by the side Put of the bed. Stretch my legs for a bit. Excuse me.
Bonjour, monsieur. Ah, Monsieur Whitney, they have already started, but please, go ahead. Thanks.
Bonjour, monsieur. Pardon me. Bonjour, monsieur. Excuse me, monsieur. That is Count Obolansky's compartment. Yours is in the next sleeping car. Bonjour, monsieur.
Monsieur, can I help you? Yes, I wanted to get something out of my suitcase. The baggage car is off limits to passengers. Suitcases cannot be opened during the journey. Not even by you? The baggage compartment is sealed, monsieur. In this way, passengers on the Orient Express are spared the inconvenience of customs checks. Now, I really must invite you to return to the passenger car. Monsieur, the baggage car is off limits. Please return to the dining car. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Uh, pardon me. Monsieur, can I help you? Excusez-moi. Mean Hen. Baron, since you have asked me to put pen to paper only if absolutely necessary, it is with the utmost discretion that I have right to inform you of a new development. Simply put, the agent in question, whom I shall not name, appears unable to pay the agreed upon sum.
am therefore compelled to cancel the transaction. I hope that you will consider that my decision was correct and that you will give me another chance to perform such a splendid service for our fatherland. Your loyal friend and servant, August Schmidt. Excuse me. Bonjour, madame. Bonjour, madame. Monsieur, excuse me. That is not your compartment. Entschuldigung. Entschuldigen Sie Conductor, bitte. Conductor, would you unlock my compartment, please? Right away, Monsieur. Herr Schmidt? There Not you now. are, Monsieur. Wait five minutes. Is everything all right? Everything is fine. Thank you. Pardon me? Mr. Whitney, I was wondering if you would come. Ah, yes, yes. Not so fast, Herr Schmidt. We're not in Belgrade yet. I guess this means His Excellency would like to see me. You know, he really has a way of making people feel wanted. Is this how he persuaded Miss Wolfe to join him in a duet? You talk a great deal for a man who knows so little. Tell him I'll be there. Conductor, would you lock my door, please? I am disappointed. I would have gladly let you keep this gold. If only you had seen fit to bring me the other, it would have saved us so much time. Maybe. What is it you want, Mr. Whitney? Tyler Whitney is dead. I want to know who killed him and why. You are on your way to Jerusalem, are you not? How did you know that? Knowledge is more precious than gold and rarer than rubies. 
If knowledge is the coin in which you wish to be paid, I could tell you many things about yourself and that ring you wear, for example. But the question you ask, that question I cannot answer. Then I'll be on my way. Not yet. I'm afraid you owe me some slight favor for having helped yourself to my luggage. That scarf in his breast pocket. Get it, please. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Khan. I shall keep it as a souvenir until our next encounter. Excusez-moi, monsieur. My friend. It's a miracle. You have paid for our guns. Now, wait a minute. Now I understand you. You say you don't help us, but then you help. You're like a Slav. You are one of us. Pardon me? Excusez-moi, madame. <laughs> Messieurs et mesdames les voyageurs, le train arrivera à Vienne dans une heure. Vienne. Well, Excuse me. Pardon me. Never was, was Pardon me. Perhaps I'll just take a walk up to the smoking. Pardon me. Yeah, there is that. What is it? What's Come wrong? In. It's good you're here. We have many plans to make. Your plans are your business. I want to talk about Tyler. I want to know who you think killed him. Sit down. Let's have a drink. Don't worry. It's not your fault. I will tell you. When we left Paris, I feel there was something wrong with the Tyler. To me, he says nothing. But he was like a frightened man. Always looking over his shoulder. That's not like Tyler. I thought there was something wrong in his letter. I tell you, he was afraid of something. There was a shadow on him. When I look into his eyes, they're the eyes of death. There were marks on his face. Three lines, like a, like a knife. It was none of my men. I loved Tyler like he was my brother. If I find out who killed him, I will tear him apart with my own hands. Drink. It's a little early in the day for that. I'll see you later, Milos. Why don't you come in? You'll be able to hear better. Mind if I join you? Of course. Cigar? The best Havana. No thanks. Americans don't know how to have pleasure. How can there be a life of the spirit if the body is not fat? How's Fräulein Wolf? I shall dine with her this evening. Tell me, August, how did a spiritual person like yourself end up as a munitions maker? You would find that quite difficult to understand. Unlike you, Herr Whitney, I'm not motivated only by gold. I'm always thinking of the higher interest of my fatherland. Where does the fatherland's interest lie in arming a band of Serbian terrorists? Terrorists? You surprise me. I had thought you would at least keep up the pretense of sympathy with the group that is paying you. I never said I wasn't sympathetic. I said they were terrorists. And you haven't answered my question. The last time I looked at a newspaper, Serbia was allied to Russia and France. Your question is not a bad one. I leave it to you to find the answer. Excuse me. I couldn't help noticing you're by yourself. Mind if I join you? Please. <laughs> Normally one doesn't go about introducing oneself to complete strangers, but... Um, we lone travellers are a sort of fellowship, aren't we? <laughs> uh, George Abbott, Empire Chemicals. My name is August Schmidt. Not THE August Schmidt. The rising young industrialist? 
A.B. Schmidt & Co. Munitions, Transport, Artillery. One of the stars of the new German industry. <laughs> I must say, I'm very pleased to meet you. You embarrass me, sir. It is true, we do quite a bit of business in England. Yes, it wasn't it your firm that just shipped, I, I believe it was 40,000 rifles and a million cartridges into Ulster. No, that was not us. Oh, I must be thinking of a different German firm. One of your competitors, perhaps. Whoever it is, they must be feeling rather disappointed. It doesn't look like we're in for a civil war after all. Not this week, anyway. All these troubles in Ireland. It is unfortunate. Yes, yes, it's awful. But really, sir, I must congratulate you. The recent industrial growth in Germany. Most impressive. Really? Oh, yes. Well, our English businessmen could stand to learn a few things from uh, entrepreneurs like yourself. All this political posturing aside, I really feel we're witnessing the birth of a new Europe, where business is the true international language. And the Orient Express, really quite remarkable if you stop to think about it. Here we are, we've just crossed from Germany into Austria, and not so much as a customs check to let you know we've crossed the border. <laughs> now that's the new Europe. Another year or two and frontiers will be a mere formality, a relic of the past. We'll be able to travel from England to Germany as easily as going from one end of London to the other. <laughs> <laughs> you would not believe sometimes the troubles I have to explain to my people. I need to keep up with what is happening abroad, to act quickly when the opportunity presents. Oh, I assure you, half the time, Home Office thinks I'm just travelling on a lark. <laughs> Old-fashioned attitude, of course. Yeah, still I do find myself sometimes quite tired in the evening. My father, my father, had a small factory. He never left his little town. He was perhaps not much of a businessman, but in the end of the day, he would sleep in his own bed, and he would be at peace. I sometimes wonder if we have really gained so much. I uh, couldn't help noticing you with Miss Wolf at lunch. You made quite a striking pair. May I ask if you've known her long? Long? <laughs> well, you know, I'm a great admirer of her music. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we all? <laughs> but you seem to have a special connection with her. Am I wrong? Come on, you can speak freely. We're all gentlemen here. <laughs> in, in that case, I will admit that travelling has its compensations. Oh, oh. <laughs> you can trust me, I won't breathe a word. Soul of discretion. By the way, what do you make of this Austro-Hungarian ultimatum? It looks like a rather nasty business. The note is harsh, but I believe necessary. These Balkan regions have always needed a strong hand to bring stability. Stability, yes. yes. That's just where we must stand together. Of course, we all have our little differences, but I can't help feeling that at some fundamental level, the goals of England and Germany are not so very far apart. I'm glad to hear you say it. But do tell me, I'd be quite fascinated to know, how did you begin your career? Well, it's really a very simple story.
I believe you have my key. Could I have it back, please? That's enough guns for the day. Tell me, when you killed Tyler, was that part of the job, or was that your own idea? I... I don't know what you mean. You don't know you worked for the Austrian secret police? Or you don't know you killed Tyler? But I didn't kill him. They sent you to break up Tyler's arms deal. You killed him and you stole the gold egg he was carrying. I didn't. It wasn't me. I've never killed anyone. I swear it. I... I'd met Tyler Whitney once in New York. I recognized him at the station. Once we were moving, I came and knocked. The door was open, so I let myself in. And there was blood all over. The egg! It was sitting on the table by the window. I took it, but I didn't kill him. The first time I saw you calling yourself Tyler Whitney, I thought you killed Anna, him. look out! Let her go. Vienna. I, I have to go now. Nur eine gelbe Rose, bitte. Eine schöne gelbe Rose für Sie, Mädels. Danke Dankeschön. Bitte schön. Ja, auf geht's, Emma. Extra Blatt, extra Blatt. Holen Sie Ihre Nachmittagszeit in der Sergio Antwort in Österreich. Extra Blatt, extra Blatt. Holen Sie Ihre Nachmittagszeit in der Sergio Antwort in Österreich. Premier service, premier service, le dîner est servi dans le wagon restaurant. Dinner is served in the restaurant car. Premier service, premier service, le dîner est servi dans le wagon restaurant. Dinner is served in the restaurant car. Premier service. Wagon restaurant, dinner is served in the restaurant car. Jacques, I've got the most awful headache. Excusez-moi, Monsieur. Tell Herr Schmidt I won't be having dinner with him tonight. Of course, Madame. Can I bring you anything? No, no, I'm just tired. Bien, Madame. I hope you can get some rest tonight. Thank you, Jacques. I was afraid you'd gotten off in Vienna. In Vienna? Why should I? I don't know, but I'm glad to see you. The journey will be over soon enough. So, what happens to August Schmidt now? He will find the police waiting for him in Budapest. The guns will be discovered and confiscated. 
I see. A job well done. You must be very proud of yourself. You want to talk. Is smuggling guns your idea of an honorable profession? Is that my profession? It's like a game to you, taking sides. Today you help the Bosnians, tomorrow the English. Do you want to know why Tyler died? I'll tell you. For a thousand years, people have been killing each other over the Balkans. It's not about to stop for one American. Our history is a chain of blood. It reaches deep into the past, it binds us, and it has nothing to do with you. Tyler is dead, you can't bring him back. Why don't you go home before the same thing happens to you? Tyler was my friend. Maybe that word doesn't mean much to you. To me, when a friend asks for help, and you get there too late, you don't leave it at that. Go away, please. Bonsoir, monsieur. Bonsoir, madame. Ну вот вы все развалили. А подумали вы о том, что будет возведено взамен? Ничто не понадобится возводить взамен тирании. Как только частная собственность будет упразднена, все люди станут равными, свободными. Но мирное общество образуется само по себе. И каким же образом вы планируете упразднить частную собственность? Революцию, разбив дребезги эту мерзкую систему. Это единственный выход. Bonsoir, monsieur. Bonsoir, monsieur. Bonsoir, monsieur. Bonsoir, monsieur. Bonsoir, monsieur. Bonsoir, monsieur. русскому рабочему воевать со своим немецким братом. Ведь мы же все одинаковы. Простые люди всегда проливают свою кровь в войнах, начатых правительствами. Мы же как овцы, ведомые на бойню. Из 
за таких людей, как ваш дед, в России откатилась на сотни лет назад. Дедушка не такой уж плохой человек. Василий Аболенский is one of the most evil products of the most evil system ever invented by men on earth. Вы себя послушали. Если вы слышали то, что я слышал. Если бы вы видели то, что я видел своими глазами, Татьяна, вы сами, взяв нож вашего деда, зарезали бы его спящего. Я не желаю этого выслушивать. If you hate my grandfather so much, then you must also hate me. Татьяна! Слушайте себя, убийство, голод. Вы говорите, что ненавидите войну, но ведь вы же еще хуже других. Нет. Что значит потерять одну жизнь? Сотни жизней ради спасения миллионов. Те, кто путешествует на Восточном Экспрессе, не могут быть ни в чем не виноватыми. What do the victims matter? It's the meaning of the act that counts. Bonsoir, monsieur. Pozzoni. Le train arrive en gare de Pozzoni. Trois minutes d'arrêt. I say, I think you've got the wrong compartment. Looks like we both got the wrong compartment. Bonsoir, monsieur. Bonsoir, monsieur. Bonsoir, monsieur. Pardon me. It's the conductor to make your bed, monsieur. Good evening. I saw you in the dining car, but I didn't want to bother you. Did you enjoy your dinner? Dinner was satisfactory, yes. Must Excuse be delightful me. to be able to dine with your family every night. That's the worst part about traveling. All those meals alone. Tatiana? The loneliness rather gets to you after a while. My problem is the opposite one, monsieur. Oh, yes. Have well, I can night. see that. Really? Hmm. Interesting. Koye! 
It's the conductor to make your bed, madame. Pardon me. It's the conductor to make your bed, monsieur. Just a minute. A moment, s'il vous plaît. Bonne nuit, monsieur. Uh, pardon me. Pardon me. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Monsieur, may I speak to you? Of course, come in. You were so kind to my grandfather. I... I didn't know how to begin. Is he worse? No. It's Alexei. He has asked me to get off the train at Budapest and run away with him. What did you say? What do you think I said? My grandfather's ill. How can I leave him? It would be wrong, wouldn't it? Alexei is a romantic. You know what they say. A romantic is someone who spends his life looking for a good way to die. When I told him no, he started saying wild things. He said I'm his only connection to the world, and that if I won't go with him, his life means nothing. You don't know him. I really think he might do something crazy. He wanted to kill my grandfather with a bomb. He would have blown up the train and killed dozens of innocent people. A bomb? What kind of bomb? He made it himself. He's been planning it for weeks. Of course I talked him out of it. But now I'm afraid I don't know what he will do. I love him so. I'll see what I can do. Would you? Oh, thank you, monsieur. Thank you. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Yes, monsieur. Some brandy, please. Uh, your best. With two glasses. Très bien, monsieur. Le train entre en gare de Galanta. 
Galanta, 5 minutes d'arrêt, Galanta. Your brandy, monsieur. Thank you. You may leave the bottle. Très bien, monsieur. Whitney, have a drink. It helps make the journey shorter. Thanks. I have misjudged Fräulein Wolf. There is no other explanation. Again and again, I ask myself, could I have imagined it? A fantasy? A romantic dream? But then I remember the way she looked at me. The warmth of her eyes. And I know I was not mistaken. Something has changed her. Well, August, she is an artist. An artist? Yes! When I return to Munich, she shall play for me. She will perform at my house. Let me fill your glass, Herr Whitney. You at least have not disappointed me. Yes, yes, she will play for me. It will be a wonderful evening. You will be there too, Herr Whitney. Bruno's and the Oblenskis, we shall all be together in a big gold room, and she will play, and we will dance, 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 so much. Der Max, der Max, der Max, hat beide wie Max, wie Max, wie Max, la da 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 da, da 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 da, da 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 da, da da da. Life is short, everything. Let's dance together! Pardon. Uh, pardon me. Pardon. Excuse me, madame. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Answer it. I have to. Vasily Alexandrovich, this is our final meeting with you. Нет, это ошибка, вы не поняли.
Зайдет покушение на мою жизнь. Убийцы следовали за мной из самой России. Я не боюсь смерти. Я всегда следовал заветам нашей церкви. Регулярно принимал участие. Постился. Я служил Господу Иисусу Христу. И Look here, we made beautiful stuff. My company has a pretty good understanding of the Austro-Hungarian authorities. I think if you let me speak to them first, I can explain what happened here and get this mess cleared up without a lot of fuss. No need to splash it all over the papers. Hmm? Reputation of the line to think of and all that. There's a good fellow. Across something exceptional. More your line than mine. Depart. I say, well done. Now, how about that drink? Excusez moi, monsieur. Excuse me, sir. Cognac, please. Uh, pardon me. Very good, madame. Thank you. There you are. What a nasty business. Oh well, good job it's over. Saves me a bit of trouble. Cheers! Saves you trouble? How? Oh well, the word went out that one of those anarchist chaps was travelling on the express precisely in order to blow up that poor old fellow Obolensky. So the uh, company sent me along to see if I could spot him and nip things in the bud, you see, before any unpleasantness. Fact is, for a while I wasn't sure if it was him or you. Me? Well, travelling without a ticket, assumed name and all that, you can see why I might have wondered. 
Uh, no hard feelings, I hope. No hard feelings. Good job you finding that bomb. I wonder, have you ever considered doing a bit more work in this line? What line? Surely a man of your perception must realize that Europe is on the brink of war. Britain and America have certain uh, common interests. An American who knows his way about, cool head in a tight spot. Uh, frankly, we could use a fellow like you. Your English police seem to have a different opinion. Oh yes, that awkward business with that Irish policeman. As a matter of fact, I've looked into that. You know, you really shouldn't have helped that fellow, even if he was wounded. Our police tend to take it rather to heart when a policeman is killed. But in this case, I think there may have been a bit of a misunderstanding. Guilt by association, if you see what I mean. Fact is, you're a doctor, Hippocratic Oath and all that. I think we can clear this business up fairly easily, assuming we want to. You mean assuming you want to? This isn't the first time you've come to our attention, Mr. Kath. We never have known quite what to make of you. Some of us were of the opinion that you were rather a loose cannon like your friend Mr. Whitney. Unfortunate what happened to him. Me, I've always felt that when push came to shove, you'd turn out to be one of our sort. What do you think? I'm sorry, Abbott. I've never been much of a joiner. Just remember, the offer is open. The world is changing and one does need to choose sides. And sometimes things change so fast that it's hard to tell one side from the other. But as I hate to say it, sometimes these situations do come down to a for us or against us sort of problem, if you see what I mean. I'll remember that. Excuse me. Hannah. I'm very tired. Please let me go. Why are you following me? There is so much I want to say. It's just that I am tired. You can't imagine how tired I am. We'll talk in the morning. Good night. Have taken off the sash first. We're almost to the border. We've got to stop the train. Why? Why? Once we're in Serbia, they'll kill us. And if we stop before the border? The terrorists will be captured by the Austrian police. Along with the arms. 
Yes. You're being used. You and August Schmidt. What do you mean? Germany and Austria want war. All they need is an incident to set it off, like Sarajevo. Sarajevo wasn't enough, but crates of machine guns captured in the hands of Serbian terrorists. Now that could start a war. Anna, how do you think your superiors knew about the arms sale? Schmidt's been set up. Germany wanted this deal to happen, and they wanted it blown wide open. By you. Anna, wait! Srpske seljačići nisu bili velika prepreka. You stop this madness! The lives of these passengers! They are innocent people! Slow down. You're wasting your breath. You are not one of the bandits. The bandits are dead. All but one. Where is he? He's running the train. Ladies, gentlemen, if you would all please move out of the dining car and return to the sleeping car. Cielos, I demand to be told what's happening. Monsieur, please, it is for your own safety. Your Excellency, May I escort you back to your compartment? My granddaughter and I are traveling to Constantinople. 
and from Constantinople to Odessa. Yes, of course. But won't you be more comfortable in the sleeping car with the rest of the passengers? Those passengers will never arrive in Constantinople. Listen, why don't you go and see to the other passengers? I'll stay a bit and try to look after things. Mesdames et messieurs, s'il vous plaît, restez calmes et restez dans vos compartiments. Она не слышит вас. Бедный, мой мотылек. Скоро, скоро ты будешь дома, в большом доме, понад речкой. Ничто не изменилось, все там как прежде. Как ты помнишь, все встретят нас. Дарья Филипповна, старая твоя няня Агафья Михайловна, даже старый Иоган. Помнишь Иоган? Они умерли. Все умерли. Жар птица. Now I see. You think you can hijack this train and get my merchandise without paying for it? August, let me tell you something. Fräulein Wolf is a spy. Your friends back in Germany set you up to get caught smuggling arms. Fräulein Wolf? A spy? And me? August Schmidt? Betrayed? This cannot be! We will meet again. Oh, and there's one more thing. My name isn't Whitney. It's Cat. Robert Cat. What? My name is Robert Cat. You won't make it. You are not a Slav. This I understand. But how can you help the Austrians? I'm not helping anybody. I got a ticket in my pocket to Constantinople and I'm not gonna waste it. Is this a joke to you? Who killed Tyler? Tyler gave his life for our freedom. And you? What do you believe in? You believe in nothing? Slowing down. You can stop shoveling now. Keep shoveling. What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? Stop the train. As I was telling my friend before you shot him, I've got a ticket for Constantinople in my pocket and I intend to use it. Constantinople? You won't make it out of Belgrade. I wasn't planning to stop in Belgrade. We are still within the Austrian Empire. In the name of the Emperor, I order you to stop the train. Do you think I won't shoot you? Go ahead.
Now you've done it. Damn you! Everything under control, I see. Well done. Maybe you couldn't have stopped the train before we hit the border crossing, but we can't have everything. That's a Serbian army train. By the look of it, I'd say it was General Georgievich. He appears to be following us. That train's on a different track. Is it? I believe you're right. What on earth does he think he's doing? He says they've switched us onto the old track. He says we have to stop. The bridge is old. It won't take our weight. It'll have to. I say you've had rather a hard morning, haven't you? Why don't you go down and take a bit of a rest? I think we can keep it going ourselves, don't you? Da, we run train. It seems you'll make it to Constantinople after all. Congratulations, you've won. What about finding out who killed Tyler? Or have you forgotten about him? Maybe it was one of the Serbs. Maybe Mahmoud. What difference does it make? They're all dead. I can't help Tyler, I can't help anyone. You were right. I never should have gotten mixed up in this. And neither should you. At least I'm serving my country. What country? You're Jewish, you speak German, you come from Hungary. What is your country? My father spent his life in the Austrian military. My brother was killed in action. I think that gives me the right to consider myself an Austrian. I hope the Emperor appreciates your sacrifice. What about you? Once you get to Constantinople, where will you go then? To Jerusalem. There's a man there who has a manuscript I'd like to get a look at. Do you want to come with me? Oh, if I only could. Don't you think the Empire can totter along for a while without your help? I mean it. Come to Jerusalem with me. I'm thinking about it.
I am the monarch of the sea, the ruler of the Queen's Navy, whose praise Great Britain loudly chants. We should be in Constantinople in an hour. Where did you get this? I've had it for a long time. I've seen this tower before. Where? If I think for a minute, I'll remember. It's just a design on a ring. Only an American would say that. It's a family crest. The tower, the hand, every part of it has a meaning. Maybe they mean you bought it in a flea market. Don't go away. When I come back, I'll tell you where I saw that tower. Where are you going? Out! Mr. Cavs, we have been waiting for you. Not yet, my dear. Would you bring us the Firebird, please? Thank you. And now, if you would be so kind as to open it.
path we are wasting time. Beautiful you are. What's that sound? Look out the window. It's growing dark. But what is it? Don't you know? It is the beating of its living heart. Now, make it sing. Play the sardis. Play it! That's enough. Close the egg now, please. Close it! Saying. What's happening? It's war! Oh, sir, Mr. Bissan, harp dead! Harp! War! I know a skipper who can take us to Gallipoli. We can get a boat there to Jerusalem. <laughs> Look at me like that. This war won't last longer than a month. I'll come to Constantinople as soon as it's over. I'll take the first Orient Express that runs after the war. If I don't see you, I hope you find what you're looking for.
Take care of Max for me. Let's <laughs> go.